Hi, I'm Michael Moore, and I'd like to take a few moments to talk to the disillusioned and often neglected white minority of South Africa. Do you wish it was like it was in the good old days? Do you ever find yourself saying, I wish there was a place in the world for me and my kind? Well, take heart, there is. Right here in the United States of America. Yes, that's right. If you're unhappy with the way things are in the new South Africa, the good old U.S. of A. can be your new home. As you can see, the races here in America have found their own special place. Even our houses of worship are kept separate, just as our maker intended. Here in America, it may look like black people are everywhere, but they're not in our stores, and not in our restaurants, and not at our impeachment trials. That's because here in America, the black people have been giving modern, state-of-the-art housing developments so far removed out in the townships, you'll never know they're there. You see, unlike you in South Africa, we learned a long time ago that if we openly acknowledged our racial superiority, we ended up in a heap of trouble. Instead, we've now learned how to create the appearance of racial harmony <laughs> while maintaining racial dominance. How have we pulled this neat little trick off, you ask? By making it look like we care. Here's how it works. In every city in America, we've named a street after the dead leader of the blacks, Martin Luther King Jr. Next, we've named a lot of schools after him. My God, we've even created a national holiday in the man's honor. Of course, you couldn't have done that in South Africa, could you? Stephen Biko Day? No. <laughs> no, you were too proud, too stuck in your ways. <laughs> Not us. We actually make sincere attempts to like our black people. They're our favorite entertainers, our best athletes, our national conscience. Our kids even try to emulate their every move and dialect. It's apartheid with a human face. This so confuses the American black man, he would never think of retaliating against his white superiors. Thank you. Exciting new statistics reveal that one out of every four black men is either in prison, on the way to prison, or just getting out of prison. And you know what that means? They're legally prohibited from voting. That's right, 14% of all black men in America cannot vote. Apartheid! So join the hundreds of other white South Africans who are making the move to this promised land. Come and take a bold step backwards into the future because there's no place like home except America.